Yeah, Billy Nitro, your internet knife and gun guru. Here we are, guys, back with another episode. Ah, oh, yes, look at this, guys. Model 81. What do you think about that? Beretta. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a little cleaning on this. This is uh, new to the family. This is a gunsmith special from Classic Firearms. And we just got her in today as you can see I'm gonna throw in a few pictures here and I'll show you what she looked like when we first got her I wiped her off a little bit she definitely needed a little cleaning had a little rust on the on the side there so that's what she looked like when we first got her and this is a few hours later I've done a little bit of a little bit of cleaning and wiping on her anyway got a little bit of speckled rust it said it had a little surface rust wasn't bad at all of course it actually looks better than my model 85 if you ask me and I paid full price for her anyways guys this is a chambered in 32 ACP caliber 7.65 so you can see there 12 round capacity, not like the Model 85, which is a single stack 8 round. So 12 plus 1. She's a little beauty. Looks to be a 1980 model. Vintage 1980. Love that. Check those wood grips out. You don't see many of them like that. Look at that character right there. That's beautiful. Just a lovely little piece of Cold War history here. We're going to clean her up real quick. We're trying to beat the light here, so we're on the good camera. So we're going to see how we can do with her here, guys. Got to take a little steel wool to her. So we're going to clean her up. So we'll back on half cock there. Drop her down. There she is on the inside. This thing has barely ever been shot. You and the way I can tell that is, check that ejector right there. It'll focus in there. That ejector still has all the color on it. It's been shot a little bit. The barrel is dirty. I've already hit it with the, the wire brush there. I like using phosphorus bronze stuff there. So I've already wiped this off a little bit. Just a beautiful little piece right here, guys. There's proof marks there. There's our feed ramp there. I mean, it's just perfect shape there. So we're going to throw a little more ballast all down there. I really don't have a 32 ACP brush. This is a 9mm that's wore down. I've been doing some scrubbing with. Front right there just a little bit. Like I said, I've already run that down there a few times. And just a little bit of faint surface rust right there on the top you can feel it with your finger now you can't really see it that much we could take a penny to that uh, a copper penny pre-1982 copper penny to that and that would take that off real easy we could take this to it but I like using this you just be real light with it either use triple lot or this is the next one up from triple lot steel wool be real nice and easy with it. It'll take that stuff right off there. Yeah, it's off there. There's your PB there. We'll just go ahead and hit the whole barrel with it. It doesn't really need it. It's 
you want to make sure you use oil when you do this with the steel wool. Take it all off right, right off there. Now the front of the slide's got a little run it too. It had it right there on the side there that you could see in the picture, but I pretty much wiped most of that off. Front of the side. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera there. I can feel it with my fingernail. A little wear right there, probably from in the crate with other ones. It doesn't look like it has any holster wear on it, really. It's probably just been rattling around in a crate of. Another Model 81s. It's going be real easy with this. I tell you guys, I used copper pennies and phosphorus bronze brushes and brass bristle brushes for a long time. I tried the steel wool one day and I was like, that's the ticket right there. It's a little messy. You'll get steel wool on your fingers like I just did. But man, it takes it off there quick. I've already hit the insides of those serrations there with the brush here. I just kind of went through them like that. They didn't really need it that bad. I have a little rust on the inside of that safety notch there too. This is my rag right here. I always wipe off with after I use steel wool, so I know it's probably got some steel wool fibers in it. I don't wipe anything else with this. No dots on the sights on this one, like the Model 85 has. Just plain Jane sights. This is cool though. This is the original Model 81. They started in 1976, I believe, is when they started this series. This is vintage 1980. Let me show you the proof marks there. They look real good under some magnification. It's got little stars in it and all kinds of little cool sights there. I love those wood grips. This great shape overall. Here's a magazine here. Italy. 12 rounds and there's your base plate with the caliber on it. These magazines are pretty hard to find and when you do they're they're rather expensive they're around 40 45 a pop. It's PW Arms import. Just a beautiful little piece. So we're just going to do a little quick cleaning here. I've already wiped some of this down. It didn't really need much. Oh, broke that one. homemade pick. It's brass.
like I said, I don't have a jag that will fit the 32 caliber, so we're just going to use this brush here. And more than one way to skin a cat. Bore was a little dirty. Oh, yeah, that's what we want right there. It's getting nice and clean. It's a nice clean bore right there. Put your patch in front of there and that'll defuse that light and you can inspect it. If you guys caught my little shorts video on how to inspect your bore like a pro. I need a little more light out here but it's getting dark on us. Anyways that's good right there. I'll throw a little grab a hole on there. Spring's already been lopped off. Set your barrel on that little shelf right there. And you have a little notch right there to set it on. Slide that guide rod down on it. Go just like so. And throw a little on those rails. Usually put choke tube grease, outer choke tube grease on there, but for the interest of time, I usually put that on my on my rails. I'll probably take her down, slip her back down tomorrow, and wipe her down real good. And, Lube it one more time. Push up on our slide there and push in on our tab there. Pop her up. There we go. Single, single to double action there on the action. Look at this, guys. This has just turned out great. Trigger feels this awesome on it. That double action is smooth and it's light. Not quite as heavy as my Model 85. Did you guys see it there? We didn't focus. And you go up to half cock right here. There's your half cock. Kind of a long trigger pull. There's your single action. No magazine disconnect on there, so I definitely like that. There she is. That's a beautiful little piece right there. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's a beautiful little 85 there. Glad to have this in the collection. Gotta get some ammo for it though. Don't have any 32 HCP.
there you guys go I thank you guys for tuning in hanging out with me for a little while it's getting dark on me so we gotta wrap this one up you guys will definitely see be seeing more of this we'll definitely do a comparison on the model 85 too just a beauty stoked to have this one love that wood grain those are legit grips too very cool anyways guys I thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me while we clean this little beauty up um, sub up to the channel if you're not on the channel uh, you can't see all these awesome videos if you're not on the channel hey buddy over and out of here guys peace